tend not to do it. It's <laughs> a really nice wobble in here for your visual effects. <laughs> So you're just making, it's like, it's like a bunch of cones sitting on top of one another. And what you want to do mentally is sort of finish, be done with that. Okay, I'm done with that. Now I'm done with this point. Now I'm done with this point. And so once you're done with it, you don't go any farther. So you're, you're creating a... a a cylinder here that's the same size and once you finish one section then you move on to the next one. It looks like you're getting into a real rhythm when you're doing this. Yeah, and my finger is right on that perm. Mm -hmm. um, you have to be a little bit careful with linen winding this way because you can, you, you can burn right through your hands and actually Ooh. sometimes I'll use another bobbin to hold the yarn and let it run over the yarn. If I've just been, but you know what the advantage of having your finger on it is, <laughs> particularly for this one, is that it's stabilizing the wobble in there. It's, it's a lot better this way because I'm also I'm holding it up. Um, if I've if I just finished a bunch of warping and I go to wind bobbins, my hands may be kind of raw, and I'd be more likely to use a, um, mm -hmm. a bobbin like that. Also, if you buy one of these new, they don't have this wobble on them. This one is, obviously, it's been a studio tool, and it's... So what you want to avoid is the little valleys. I just filled that one up. Mm -hmm. um, so, that, so that the yarn has a clear path. We have some inconsistent dye on the skin.